going out there away. Hopefully my death perception's good and I don't plow it into the tree. Look at it, I got it. We'll slalom it. Come this way. Come this way. Power around the uh, pole, tree. Little pylon racing with the trees. That's right, pylon racing in the front yard. Hey pilots, it's your product specialist Wesley out in my front yard today. Uh, we were having so much fun, I decided to fly this in the yard just for fun and giggles, and I was having a blast and I thought, we gotta pick up a camera and see this for you guys too. So, you know, the fun thing with these little Skynetic Minis is you can fly them in a pretty small space and be successful. You know, I leave the gyro on in here and you can just bang the sticks as hard as you want and just weave in and out of the trees and stuff. So we're gonna take you along for a little fun flight today. Uh, these are available now. They're inexpensive, ready to fly. As you see it here, it comes with this controller. We're gonna go rip this thing. So here we go. <laughs> here we go. Yeah. Go around the flagpole. Yeah. <laughs> Down the pipes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's so lightweight, guys, if you did have an accident, they usually live through it. And we're not breaking any rules because we're sub 250. This thing only weighs like 80 grams, so fly it in your yard all you want legally. Look at this thing. <laughs> Ooh. Around the flagpole. Meow. Meow. Figure eights right out here around there. Here we go. Ooh. I got it in high rates, but gyro on, and it's so easy to fly it. I don't know if it's easy to film the little guy. <laughs> but what a hoot. Oops, sorry, Lori. Make it over the house. Ooh. Touch and go. Ooh, I missed. I was going for it. Here we go, touch and go. Ah, I missed it again. <laughs> this is some tight flying. Oh, got it. Oh, tree. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Touch. Oh, touch and smash. So the cool thing with these little guys is they're made to take a hit. So like the prop just pops off if you do have a crash like that. Just take that snapper back on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Almost didn't throw it with enough oomph behind it. And the tiger moth is definitely my favorite. There's four on the market right now. There's a tiger moth, a pit. A P-51 and um, P-40. P-40 is the other one. But, man, I just take the Tiger Moth out all the time, and people just love this thing. Pass the transmitter, play the game, you know, let everybody play with it. And uh, if you have an open area like that, you can just really have a good time. Always laugh when a car goes by and sees it. Get honked at and stuff. But yeah. Like I said, in this tight space, I like having the gyro on because it really gives you the confidence to kind of bang it around. Let's see, can I go around this tree? Depth perception. Oh, I did it. Not sure if you can see that one or not. Hopefully I wasn't in the way. Here, I'll back up on this one. I'm going to take it around that tree again. Here we go. Going out there a ways. Hopefully my death perception's good and I don't plow it into the tree. Look at it, I got it. We'll slalom it. Come this way. Come this way. Power around the uh, pole, tree. Little pylon racing with the trees. That's right, pylon racing in the front yard. Could you imagine if we had a couple of these? 
They're easy enough too. I mean, you could easily hand this to a newer pilot. Maybe not in this small of a confined space, of course. You'd do a lot better out in a bigger area. I wonder if I could fly it under the fence right there. Oh, oh, I hit something. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, let me go get it. I caught a little Spanish moss off the tree. I'm, I'm totally shooting the gap. Here it comes. Give her a quick check. Yep, everything's fine. We're going to shoot the gap. Here we go. Under the fence. Coming back around. Here we go. Shoot the gap under the fence. Oh yeah. And as you're seeing, easily can take a hit because we've crashed it already twice. Under the fence again, here it comes. Oh yeah. Well, we gotta come back the other way now, right? Oh yeah! How much fun can you have though? I mean, look at that. Sorry, Lori, right over your head. Here we go, here we go. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I tell you what, at the end of the day, RC is all about putting a smile on your face. I've got a big one on mine, here we go. Ah, I missed. <laughs> I was going to land it. Hang on, I got to get a redemption. I hit the tall stuff. But look, I mean, guys, this thing's taking some hits. And there's not a scratch on it. The gyro's going crazy, but there's not a scratch on this thing from all these hits. And we've been bouncing it out of trees, uh, all kinds of stuff. I mean, aside from just like flying it straight into the ground, you're not going to tear this thing up. And you get like a 10 minute flight time. I got to get the nice landing out in front of us. Here we go, coming in for the greaser. Dang it, I got to get it. <laughs> that was terrible too. We're going to get this here in a second. Ugh. And we lucked out. We're kind of in all these trees here and the wind is real calm in here. Oh, I got it. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Let's call it good though. Guys, I really hope you decide to check these little guys out. Let's see, I'm gonna turn the gyro off while I'm standing here so it's not squealing at me. Uh, if you're interested in how to set them up or anything else, we've done all kinds of videos on the Futaba Ready versions versus the Ready to Flies like this one. They all come with a battery and a charger. Uh, the only difference is, is whether they come with that Ready to Fly transmitter or not. So anyway, if you haven't already checked these out, multiple available on the website in stock right now. Go get you one of these little Skynetic planes. Have a lot of fun in your front or your backyard, in the neighborhood. This is the kind of little plane you can really fly around easily without hurting anybody in a small confined space. So, hey guys, whether it's land, sea, or air, Motion RC has everything you want. See you in the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.